30 years. You want to know why R. Kelly got to do 30 years? Because we the parents, right? That was living in Florida. R. Kelly was around here with his goddamn goons. Okay, with ba women that had babies, with a dude named Cobra Sherubin, and anybody that was connected to that Pump It Up store with uh, Victor Chambers and the Wu-Tang Clan and Fat Joe and Jay-Z. Look, Beyonce doing a lot of fucking cocaine, obviously, and her mother sitting back like, I, I got it. Like, she know her daughter getting fucked up by Diddy and Jay-Z, and they just letting her do whatever the fuck she want to do. Then she going to have gay tendencies and shit, want to be a boy. And then everybody's looking at Beyonce like she a fucking angel, and we know that bitch ain't an angel. We know she's not an angel. But she portrayed that thing. So now she Google Beyonce LOL in Twitter. In the in the means. Now she wearing Jay-Z clothes, right? She want to be Jay-Z. So who's the karmic? She's Jay-Z's karmic. And so is Alicia Keys. Thank you. Alicia Keys going to go and play the whole goddamn in new, the whole album. Yeah, they want to be boys and shit. They want to be boys. They don't want to be bad girl entertainment. They want to be bad boy entertainment. Exactly. But they want to bully the girls. Because we don't, we don't fuck with them. We don't fuck with the boys. And the boys is mad. The men is mad. They got to go get a whole new harem of new girls. Because the older women, we ain't playing their little gay ass games that they like to play with us when we was younger than with them. Diddy used to play these gay games where he could pull his pants down and, you know, everybody wanted that bid. They wanted that bid for Aaliyah's album. First Jay-Z had it, then Dame Dash had it, then Diddy had it, then she dead in a plane or acting like she dead in a plane. I mean, per me personally, Aaliyah looked like goddamn Kamalia with a sex, with, with, a, with a face operation, like for real. You know what I'm saying? Like they family or something. But anyway, um, so they going to come all the way out here to Florida. Black Lives Matter in front of my house. Antifa Matters in front of my house. Not fucking around Matters in front of my house. Um, Aaliyah, uh, you know, R. Kelly killed Aaliyah. Why they come here to tell me that? Because they don't want no court case. Because it's a short and sweet case. That was the quickest case we ever had, right? Oof, damn. How you get 30 years in two hours? Shit, you're guilty. And then the thing about it is I'm sitting over here like, when they going to pay child support for all these fucking babies they gave us? No, bitch. Oh, they want you to get a job. Oh, Kelly can't read. We reading, bitches. We read. We protect the goddamn nation. They using us. Oh, you was good. You was good bait. Uh, you could go back to work. Why don't you go fishing? Do you like the outdoors? Why don't you? And when we go outside, here come the fucking cartel. You know, a bunch of Mercedes Streets and her father. Mercedes Streets out here set up set up every black person you could imagine. And Donald got, I got a new bike. Oh, so she about to kill him. She done killed a person with Rick Ross in front of me. Mercedes Streets is a goddamn murderer in Orlando. She worked with the Cuban cartel, her and motherfucking Rico TV out here at every club killing black people in clubs with fucking drinks, throwing pills in your drink with DJ Nodos and the fucking uh, correctional office facilities. They over here getting bitches high, putting stuff in your drinks in the club, tier three, uh, all the clubs. They, they putting stuff in your, in your drinks. So when you leave the club, your ass is going to have a what? A DUI or you going to crash and die. They tell you, if you go to New York, it's your final destination. Where the fuck R. Kelly went to? Brooklyn. What the fuck? Oh, he don't feel safe in the prisons down here. Mm-mm, because it's too racist. But he felt safe enough to pass out herpes and AIDS and all kinds of shit to these Haitians on Americana with Donald Wharton and Val Demons at Pete's Barbecue. 
and, you know, have sex with the police. Having sex with the girl police, with the boy police. At what what was the name of those apartments? Park Place Apartments by uh what? The mall. The Millennium Mall. Yeah, cause all Kelly liked to play basketball. So he liked to lure in everybody through basketball and music. You know, I play basketball, but I can play the keyboard too. So who discovered him? George Daniels. Right? Oh, did George Daniels' daughter bang R. Kelly? Absolutely. Why they want me to go to R. Kelly house? Because I'm not going to R. Kelly house. I'm not no stupid ass bitch. Okay? Like, I'm going to go to the pedophile house in Orlando. No, I don't want to go to that nigga house. Mm -mm, No, thank you. Oh, but you got to go to Mercedes or, or, you know, the hotel and the motel on Douglas to go pick up R. Kelly records, you know, feeling on the booty. Because Mercedes Streets was working for R. Kelly trying to kill all the girls named Kelly, I guess. Trying to put a hit out on, 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 on all the people named R. Kelly or Kelly. Mercedes Streets walking around trying to kill people named Kelly? Mercedes Streets is walking around trying to murder girls, trying to murder me at Champions Gate at Lenar Holmes, trying to murder girls inside their classes, trying to murder our children inside classes, doing drive-bys in Orlando, doing um, BB gun shootings on children. Mercedes Streets must got a KKK father. She be stalking you. With who? The police from Orlando and the police from New York. Because you done had a baby by a rapist from New York who's down with the police department named Walter McGee Peterson and Junior and Senior. You walking around. I'm a mixed biracial girl. Uh, Your mother going to send the rapist to you, Gail Lacey. She sends rapists. All of these people is working for Gail. Mercedes worked for Gail. Rick Ross worked for Gail. Uh, Cliff Judy worked for Gail. Jay-Z, Beyonce, Beyonce mother and Beyonce father worked for Gail Lacey, the nurse, the crooked nurse. She and Yonkers trying to tell Mary J. Blige what to do. She over there fucking Weinstein and Epstein, one of them. Probably Epstein, the one that's supposed to be dead. Supposedly. Y'all going to set up Money Making Mitch, the Million Man March, and then, you know, get all the black people in Harlem all over the world to go support y'all when y'all go to the Million Man March. When y'all came back from the Million Man March, all you all did was rape everybody in Harlem. All you black Muslims did, now they want to go to Scientology in Florida. They rushing down to Tampa. We don't want to be the nation of Islam no more. We know we raped our fucking mothers and our cousins and shit. And we made babies with the family. We want to be Scientologists now. We want to do hurricanes so we can kill everybody. We want to learn Scientology so we can learn how to, you know, shake up the earth underneath the goddamn water so we can do a tsunami in goddamn Miami. We don't like your voice, Kelly. We don't like the way you talk. We don't like the voice. We don't like your tone. We don't like when you tell your version of the truth. We don't like your truth. I ain't never seen a bunch of black women that don't like the truth. A bunch of girls that still looking pussy, still looking twat, not me though. You understand? They mad because I don't live that lifestyle of being a a fucking whore. I don't live a lifestyle of sniffing cocaine. I don't sniff cocaine. They want to walk around Florida. When's the last time you sniffed cocaine? That's what they doing to girls in Orlando. Donald is doing this. McDonald Horton. Walking around Orlando, invading people's children. Casanova is from Peekskill. Well, the world don't know just the beat of just one drum. Going to private schools up there in Peekskill, killing little boys for the cult. So Mercedes Street, she going to set up a little Def Jam cult. 
with Eminem. He down here killing people with Yaya. And motherfucking Shadow the Unseen because Shadow the Unseen brother has been locked up for trying to kill me and his mother. These niggas walking around trying to kill their own mother in rap groups. Eminem, he got black men, Eminem and 50 Cent and Cool in the Gang and motherfucking Angelo Ellaby in New York with Snoop Dogg walking around murking people mothers. Angelo Ellaby, go on YouTube. He got him and his mother on the internet talking about why his mother's dead. Then you got Felipe Olave, his sister, Jasmine, Yasmin. She on LinkedIn talking about, you don't, you don't believe, ain't the Illuminati real? Do you believe in the Illuminati? Her mother dead for st- what? I don't know why her mother dead, but her mother was a crackhead. Her mother was a crackhead and stabbed me in my face. Yasmin Olave's mother, Brownie, was a crackhead in Harlem. And she was a crackhead in fucking Mount Vernon with a bunch of Cubans. Sent by my mother from spot for jail with Kim Paulin. Gail and her sisters walk around New York and now they're walking around the planet killing people. Cause they, cause everybody, look, you've been walking around having sex with children and little kids and women and girls, setting up your families with rape operations. And these women think they, they just going to arrest R. Kelly and he going to go to jail for 30 years and they going to walk free into the, in the world of I'm protected. You not protected. You never going to be protected for selling $3 million worth of crack every day. You will never be protected for that. You will never be protected for trying to set me up with a light-skinned motherfucker on my train trying to sell crack and them niggas ended up dead, didn't they? You will never get away with that bullshit, Rick Ross, one and two. You will never get away for killing a man in front of me and you think I don't go to sleep and I don't remember what Mercedes Streets did to me in front of my motherfucking face. And she is she pregnant? I don't give a fuck. Y'all think y'all gonna walk around and genocide all my babies and then when you bitch ass motherfuckers have babies, you think you gonna have good luck? We don't give a fuck if your baby come out stillborn, bitch. We don't give a fuck if you was in a car accident today, tomorrow, next week, down the block. Look, you putting dead cheaters on the path of where my son got to go to work. Mercedes Streets and her witch-ass, bitch-ass shit she doing in Florida, she going to end up a dead woman. So is her father. She's on a fucking mural. We already know she dead. Her baby going to end up dead. We already know that, too. It's a ritual. We don't give a fuck if you married the plug, bitch. We don't give a fuck if you married a rich man, bitch. We already know you married him for his money and you don't love him. We already know that you had fucking diseases walking around Haitians setting up people with trigger. We already know you were setting up car accidents with Don Apollo. He from Queens sticking his fingers in girls' asses at the gym. We already know you sell cocaine and crack at Cleo's. Mercedes Streets, you and your father. We already know you've been using trucks for truck accidents and claiming money with Dan Newland. We already know that you've been stealing houses at Lenar Homes. We already know that you've been using strippers to go into go inside people's real estate classes so you could what get them high before their test so they could what fail their test. Mercedes Streets have been stalking me. For like since 19, what, 98 since I moved here because that's my mother's op. She's an op. She been doing terrorism on black women, cops, and the military. She thinks she going to live through it. She wrong. I don't have a problem telling you, bitch, you going to die. You been trying to murder me and my children. You got my other son held hostage in Florida with Julian. Nah, Julian Assange. Trump's cousin. Ain't Trump in a body bag? Trump think he gonna live through this bullshit with his wife. They gonna kill Trump too. Snoop gonna do that. Snoop is gonna kill Trump. That's his job. 
He got to kill Farrakhan and Trump. That is what Trump, look, murder was the case that they gave me. I'm just got to tell you who to go. Who's about to get it? Jessica Rosenblatt. She's a dead black, she's dead fucking Jewish. Bitch. She's a dead Jewish woman for setting up those kids at CUNY College and running off with the bag with Diddy. Diddy and Russell Simmons and Clive Davis and Gene Deal walking around with Vlad TV. Everybody's walking around like, save my children. But they was walking around killing everybody else's kids. In the police department. But they got children now. And they done put their kids through college. And we can't put our kids through college. They worried about their daughters. They done killed kids in Florida. They worried about their mothers. They done killed mothers in Florida. They worried about their grandmothers. They done relocated their grandmothers to Morocco. They done shot at us in clubs down here in Orlando. They done put our lives in danger with our children. They done put bullet holes in our babies. With BB guns. They done showed us motherfucking guns and said there was BB guns at Donald's house. You don't think R. Kelly gonna be in jail trying to knock you niggas off? One by one. One by one. Oh, and then he gonna go to prison in New York and die. Okay. He got family members. Did he got family members? Everybody got family members. When you knock off Mercedes Streets or me, oh, I'm protected, but I can see niggas trying to kill me over and over. No. Mercedes Streets is going to catch it because she tried to kill my whole family. She tried to murder. She did murder my uncle. She did murder my aunts. She did walk around murdering people in Orlando. And she did it in front of me. And then she came to my house and got her hair done. And she thinks she going to live through this shit? You think you going to live through murdering my family? You think you going to walk around stealing shit out of my house? You think you going to try to steal my identity? And you going to walk around thinking you a safe bitch in your house? You think you're going to walk around with AR-15s like you're going to shoot somebody? You think you're going to just set up teachers in schools for the next millennium, for, for the school se semester for 2022? You're going to start that cycle again with Mercedes Streets and her fucking father, with McDonald Horton, trying to murder me with food? You think you're going to live through that shit with, with Cardi B and her husband? Y'all been putting fucking shit in people's drinks. Anything. Soda, beer, anything. They've been stealing fucking keys with motherfucking mad ills. Guerrilla warfare. They've been stealing fucking keys to kill cops and veterans in Orlando with Val Demons. You motherfuckers think you're going to live through all of this shit? Really? How you figure? How you figure you going to How you figure my kids is safe, your kids is safe, everybody children walking around with no guns, no bulletproof vests? You ain't got a bulletproof vest? You mean to tell me your windows ain't bulletproof? And and all of these motherfuckers in Florida got AR15s ready to go off? You mean to tell me Jay-Z's the only fucking house that has bulletproof windows? Why is that? Because he tried to kill everybody. Because you gave a rapper the power to kill your baby mother. Because you gave Jay-Z the right to poison you. You gave Jay-Z and Beyonce the right to kill your babies. You did. You put on a mask because you were scared. You were scared of dying. You scared of the virus. You scared to die in three fucking days because you know them shots don't work. 
You scared to you scared to even swim in your lakes because the amoebas will kill you. You scared to swim in your own waters because the shit in the water will murder you. Then you gonna let out all the people that kill people while I was in New York. Where's Joey? Oh, Joey's oh the Joey dude in Friends. And Cobra Sherubin is the Cobra dude in Cali, the TV show. And Elizabeth Spencer is Elizabeth Smart, the book that's fake. The stories are all fake. And Ray Rice and his wife never really had a fight. That was all fake. And Jay-Z never really had a fight with Solange. That was all fake. But let me tell you what was actually real. When Beyonce's father, we was in the presidential suite and we were talking. That was real. When Beyonce's father actually told me what the deal was, that was real. I didn't know Beyonce felt that way about me. I didn't know until her father told me. Now she's fake to me, right? But I love you, but her face is melting with Steve Harvey and Justin Bieber and, uh, you know, free real estate and, you know, who are the faces melting? Melting faces. That's Putin telling you, don't trust these, don't trust these motherfuckers. These motherfuckers tried to kill you, Kelly. I don't give a fuck what you say, what you do, what they say. Don't party and bullshit and do not eat with them motherfuckers over there. You don't know what they going to do to Beyonce. They might make her eyes bulge out her face like all the rest of the girls. Snoop got it. Snoop eyes is bulging. Missy Elliott eyes is bulging. Oprah's eyes is bulging. Wendy Williams' eyes is bulging. My mother's eyes is bulging out her fucking head for trying to kill children in utero. Trying to kill her sister's kids. Setting up her kiss sister's kids. My mother went through a lot of shit. For being that one different lady out the clique, the Cuban. I don't know. Maybe she don't like girls. Maybe she secretly want to kill everybody. Maybe she had one baby that got away. And she she was such a fucked up mother. She couldn't take care of one baby. Maybe uh, the people that she hire is so fucked up. They Fucked up Puerto Ricans and fucked up Dominicans. They, these are some fucked up people. They just really dirty, nasty people. These are cult leaders. People that worship the devil. People that kill children. People that cut the fingers off and say, let's do a movie called, uh, you know, Game Over with Cameron. Let's go cut some fingers off some children. Let's go visit Kelly with Juju. And Cameron, let's go scam her with some Putin tea. Let her children drink it so they can puke. We don't give a fuck if you got a master's degree, bitch. You still got to eat, bitch. You still got to drink water, bitch. One day that bug is going to go down your fucking throat, bitch. And you're not going to be here no more. One day your mother going to drink it. She not going to be here no more. You think everything you did to me is just going to be like, oh, we did it to her and we're off. Back to the islands. No, bitch. Background checks on everybody. Wherever you go, we know. You can't even fucking hide. Julian Assange got your bitch ass. Uh Uh-huh, Trump's cousin. He not in America, but he know where your bitch ass is. Uh Uh-huh. 
Julian Assange, the one in the in the card game with Zimmerman in them, and Stay Dead. Remember that card? And Stay Dead, that one. Oh, yeah, he know where every black person is that tried to fuck with me. Yes, he do. I seen all the murder hits before the murder hits. Yes, I did. Shh. You learn, collective. You pass the test. Shh. Just be quiet. Don't tell nobody they're going to die. You're going to die. Don't tell nobody you're going to die. Well, why? Don't you want to know what to tell people when you die? Don't you want to leave your family something when you die? No. Fuck that. Hell no. Spend all the fucking money. I don't give a fuck. Spend it all. <laughs> don't leave nobody shit. Not even an ice cream cone. Bitch, if you going to die, bitch, you better die broke. Don't leave nobody. Uh, got, don't Not one cent. Mm -mm, make them work for it just like you. My mother calling me. Uh, can I have your kid's social security number just in case? Because I did a lot of fucked up shit to you. So, you know, I know I ain't called you in a long time. But I'm setting you up at here at these River Park apartments with your ex-boyfriend. And my Cuban little bitch that I fucking have threesomes with with your boyfriend. <laughs> I know I'm your mother, but I'm a freak. <laughs> Gail Lacey is a fucking lesbian, fucking hoarding ass, goddamn abortionist. Talking about a uh, pro life. That means, nope, it's the opposite. we about to kill some more babies. Mm -hmm. Can I just get a pill, bitch? The morning after. Mm, I'm going to just piss out the baby out my pussy. Thank you. The, puss, the baby coming out the goddamn coochie after you fuck me with some alcohol and cocaine in my pussy. That's when they kill babies. And that's just how it's going to happen. Oh, she going to snort a lot of coke. She going to drink a pint of goddamn alcohol. And she going to hope that motherfucker come out her pussy dead. How can she say it like that? Because that's how they think. I say what a bitch think. Because she too fucking soft to say it. She live in America. She's confined it not to talk. I'm such a fucking lady with big ass lips and big ass pussy lips and big ass. Everything's big. No, here come these, here come these fat bitches. We don't like the way you look. Here. Why don't you say, can you just get a little bit more skinnier? Because you looking too good for your age. You don't even look your age, lady. What the fuck? I'm older than you and I, I'm younger than you. You look, I look older than you. How the fuck you older than me and you look younger than me? Bitch. <laughs> It's called ancient Chinese secret. Close your legs, bitch. And don't have a lot of kids. That's what it's called. It's called, I don't eat that much fucking pork. <laughs> and I damn sure don't eat, I eat zero chicken. I don't eat birds. Just because motherfucking Asians is planted out there selling you motherfuckers chickens with fucking hair on it don't mean your ass got to eat it. I don't sh look. Just because a motherfucker cooking goddamn chicken in Walmart and it smell good, bitch, don't mean you got to eat it. Don't you got willpower? No. Here go Christine Chenoweth. Um, I'm fucking your man. Can you eat this? Because I really hope you die. <laughs> Kinky Boots. Where's Isaiah? I don't know. Fucking his mother. I don't know. Well, you got to get out. Why are you here? You doing a really good job. Uh, find his keepers, lose his weepers. <laughs> Why are you here? Why are you here, girl? You doing a great job. Whatever you doing, you doing a great job. Why is she here? Because they about to do terrorism at the Dr. Phillips Center. You know the drill. Why is she here? Because she, she sees danger. 
And when she see that, she just like any other mother. Bitch, get some dogs and a goddamn metal detector before they come in your shit and start shooting old white ladies in the forehead while they watching Disney movies, bitch. You better get some security in your building before they start shooting white people in the forehead for trying to fuck with us with goddamn period. I mean, I don't know what's wrong with white people. Did they lose their mind? Did Putin lose his mind? Absolutely. Putin came to Orlando and pulled the wool over your black nigga ass. Okay. Uh, Slavia Snow Show. I knew that shit was a setup when I saw all of these white bitches with red hair walking around. You know why is she here? Because Donald in there telling these people, oh, you got a veteran in there. She real smart. You're going to have to really... uh con her with the Monica show and do some racist shit on her and isolate her and make her feel like she's a nobody when she's really a big ball. When she's a big boss, you gonna make her, you gonna have to threaten that bitch to make her feel lonely. I'm looking at Donald, they gonna knock that nigga off his bike real soon. Yeah, they gonna knock him off the bike. Cause that's what Mercedes streets do. After she fuck a nigga, then she go and kill him. Yup. Donald don't know he fucked the... He probably he fucking a killer. He afraid of her. Not me. I ain't afraid of that bitch. She got a dead cheetah on um the road, right? She puts homeless people... She pays people in Florida... To be homeless, like to, to act like they homeless in front of your house. This is what they do in Orlando. Orlando is racist, very racist around Mercedes Streets and her father. They do blue racism games in Orlando. And they use the Nation of Islam and they use churches. Little churches that set up, you know, one minute they be in this building and then the whole church is like, yeah, we need a new building. And then that's what the hustle is, trying to get money for a building. They never get a building. They never get a building. They just go from spot to spot, renting out churches, taking old lady money and shit, taking kitty money. And then when I go up in there, and when I go up in there with my people doing Christian rap music and shit, all of a sudden, people start getting saved. The pastor's like, wait a minute. I don't like her. She's really gifted. Exactly. See, they got the coke dealers running the churches, right? When the real person that's really blessed comes up in there, they don't want to fuck with me. Nah, I'm real. I'm too real. Bitch, you supposed to be conning us. You supposed to be faking like you a pastor, touching people and making them go hit the floor and then getting their money. You're not supposed to be really saving people. Yup, that's the way. She's really saving people? She really has this gift? Nah, let's see. Let's see. Throw that germ on her. Oh, shit. She... Nah, do that shit to her kid. Oh, shit. Nah, yo, fuck her other son up. Oh, shit. Yo, yo, go get a baby daddy. Oh, shit. Niggas is scared. Oh, they scared? They scared. Because the DNA is golden. They scared. They walking around. Arrest R. Kelly. Give him 30 years. That nigga can't read, but his DNA is good. He going to donate that shit. They want our DNA so bad, yo. They want our blood so bad. They killing for this shit. They killing for DNA, bro. Yo. Did you hear what I said? I said they murdering people for DNA. I'm excited. 
I'm excited. They put my whole life upside down. Not because there's something wrong with you. Because there ain't shit wrong with you. And they trying to make you feel like you something wrong with you. Ain't shit wrong with you, Miss O Positive. You got O Positive blood. You the cure. They hate you. Give her, give her, go stick a, an infected dick in her. Stick his boiled dick in her mouth. Let's see if she gets something. Bitch. Hmm. Shit, motherfucker. Let's see if she cont contagiously contacts, you know, the magic from Johnson <laughs> and Judas and Cain and Abel and Job and Noah X. Donald have sex with you, then they go do a terrorist act. He going to have a uh, ritual terrorist act sex. So they down here in Orlando having terrorist sex. Yeah, they have sex with you just before the buildings fall. Or they have sex with you just before R. Kelly get arrested. Or they go have sex with you just before the buildings in Miami fall down. Or they go have sex with you and your mother and threesomes just before they get hit off with a bag of money from George Soros. Yeah. Every time they go do something fucked up, they want to eat your pussy. Val Demons and them, the police, they love to have sex before they do something evil. So let's say you on your period, right? You don't want to see these niggas. They knocking at your door. You know you got your period. They coming to your house in two. No, they don't just come by one. You didn't let the motherfuckers in. They just came in. They knock on your door. You say, I look, you don't act like you're home because they know you're home. They see your car. They know your ass is there. Manute and Colbert. Manute and Colbert. That's all they do. Walk around, double ganging girls, coming to the house, two at a time, putting their hands on you. And then R. Kelly's locked up. I get to tell the story without getting killed. I don't think so. <laughs> I got to tell the story about how R. Kelly entrapped us with Colbert Sherubin and Victor Chambers. Victor Chambers got the Pump It Up record store on Orange Blossom Trail. You know, selling laptops and shit. <clears throat> you know, to the hood and shit. Trying to make it seem like he doing something good. Robin Hood and shit, you know. Setting everybody up for 9-11. You don't know this until years later. So you get on the internet years later. You find out that Victor Chambers is, is working with fucking Jay-Z impersonating cops so that's the Zimmerman scam right uh you know the security guard having too much power shooting a black man for occult reasons shooting a black child for occult reasons and then it, and then these men is doing this shit from prison from Polk County Prison, right? So now they're going to go to Brooklyn, right? And they're going to do the same thing in Rikers Island. Except this time, R. Kelly is going to be talking, writing lyrics. He's going to be hanging around people like Dick Wolf. And they're going to be, whatever happened to him in Orlando, R. Kelly going to go up there and start telling people about that so they can make Netflix movies. With the Mossad. Bobby Ann. 
all right, which is the handler, I still got pictures that that motherfucker took of me in front of the black box. And that's a death cult. So the Asians, they already know they're going to kill you or they want to kill you. They do this to you very young. They follow you for years. Bobby Yan. Come on, Bobby. Let's go see Harv Pierre. What we going to tell Harv? Yo, Harv, they going to kill Puffy. Bobby Yan was right there in front of me. Harv, there's a hit on Puffy life. Who told me that? Gregory Trotman. Candy Uncle. Candy Uncle from the YGs. Candy Cunningham, Ray Rice's people, Janae's mother. Right. Right. So Diddy, uh-huh. We already told Harb that before Biggie died. Yeah. Right. So, you know, Harb says it's business. Everybody knew. Everybody knew this information. So you gonna meet in 1993. We gonna make Doll and My Baby. 1994. They gonna set up an organization called Goods for Guns from Rikers Island with Fernando Mateo. And I'm stupid. You know, I'm the dumb one out the clique. That's why they love you because you stupid and you don't know nothing. Right. The police is doing this to me. Police the whole time. Setting you up with MC Light, Heavy D, you know, a bunch of motherfuckers. They setting you up. It's the police department. You thinking you doing something good. Are we going to collect guns for tickets? Ain't nobody bought no tickets and they knew that shit was going to be a fucking flop. Nobody give a fuck about Run DMC for a goddamn Glock. And that rhyme. Nobody cares about no rappers, tickets. Nobody, nobody gives a fuck. And now that we know that rappers and the police work together, like they work, they, like that's FBI, CIA, FBI, all that bullshit. Like who wants to be a rapper? You know what I'm saying? Like who really wants to do that work? If you know for a fact you being used like that. And they not even telling you. Like, they killing your babies. They turning your kids into gang members. Like, they literally doing evil shit. Like, they whopping your kids. They raping your kids. You literally got children that's pissed the fuck off right now. Like, right now. Not tomorrow. Not yesterday. Like, right the fuck now. You got children who are hurt. From what the Wu-Tang Clan did to them. You got children that are very upset. For what New York has done. To the children down here. To get away from men. Who raped their parents. But they. Abused their children. In the police department. And then they wonder why the cops. Is having fights with these people. That's why. I rest my case.